Hey, so this video takes off from the um, video about the economic order quantity under the inventory management series. So if you have not seen that video, I suggest that you go back and see that video first before going to this. But if your main concern is only about production order quantity, then it's okay. Just uh, watch until the end um, as we proceed. So if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe and ring the notification bell for future content so that uh, you'll be notified every time we come up with new videos about trading, operations management, uh, investment, and some other business topics. Yeah, so without further ado, let's proceed to the production order quantity model. And we are using the POMQM uh, software. Of course, there are other softwares that uh, is available and there are even calculators online that uh, you can use. But this is just uh, something that uh, we use um, and you will see later that uh, this is uh, quite efficient and this um, also makes use of uh, images so that you will understand it better. Alright, so here we are presented with the, almost the same uh, data needed for uh, EOQ, right? So the difference between the two is, of course, production order quantity takes off uh, from the perspective of producing, okay? Uh, well, on the other hand, well, you can view the EOQ the same way, but uh, let's just focus on that difference first. Okay, so POQ demand demand rate would be, again, annual, as in the case of uh, the EOQ. Let's put it at 1,000 per month, so about 12,000 uh, laptops. That's a demand rate, for example. And then, the, and of course, you can figure that out based on your, uh, based on your data. Set up ordering costs. Uh, let's just say that every time there's an ordering order cost, that's about fifteen thousand. Now holding and carrying costs would be again fifteen percent, uh, as in the case of the previous example that we have. This means that this is fifteen percent of the unit. Daily production rate is about one hundred. Uh, well, again, uh, this is not based on any hard data. Uh, let's just put it for, uh, first at about 20 so that uh, we, will, uh, we will show what happens uh, for various data. So let's, let's just put that the daily production rate is only 20 and we have 300 days per year, right? So if you already inputted value here, don't input value already, uh, I mean anymore in the daily demand rate. So we have 300 days per year, that's uh, about mm, 50 times 50 weeks, right, times times 6, all right, multiplied by 6, so that's 300, so 6 days per, per week. Okay, so unit cost, this is the cost of the laptop, 25,000, and if this is your production uh, matrix, uh, the needed data, then you just compute 12. And then there is an error, and uh, uh, POMQM says the daily production rate must be larger than the daily demand rate. So immediately you are notified that this will not work. If you're only producing 20 and the demand rate is 12,000, then that cannot be. All right? So if you will uh, put 20 times 300, then clearly it will not reach 12,000. So. Uh, let's just uh, show it as as it would be, for example, in real life. Okay, so let's just put it at 30. Okay, and then when we solve, again, there's an error. So you will see, oh, why is that? Because again, if you multiply 30 by 300, that's just 9,000. But you need to have uh, 12,000 per year. So uh, actually, the idea here is to put it at 40 times 300, so that's 12,000. But let's just put it at with an excess of uh, about 10. So the, the daily production rate is 50. Okay. Um, so that means that uh, the factory is able to produce 50 
50 laptops per day. Okay, and when you solve, this is the data that is presented to us. Uh, holding cost is 15%, that's 3750 as in the case uh, uh, for EOQ. Daily demand rate is 40, just divided 12,000 divided by 300. Okay, and here we are say uh, we are told that the optimal production quantity is about 700, right? The maximum inventory level is about 138, 140. Average inventory is about 69, almost 70. So how many production runs you're going to do? About 17 per period. And it's done about 700. Uh, the, the goal is about 700. And you only do it at 17 times. Okay. So again, this is good. Uh, when you take a look at it from the perspective of operation and the data that we're given here uh, is such that uh, per batch for example uh, so this uh, for example one product and this is the data then you will know that this this product should be run uh, you know in this case 17 times 17 runs per year okay and you can just put another product for example and then you will compute again for how many runs at least what you would know here is the number of runs per year and the production quantity per run yeah so let's look at the okay so that's the data you solve it and then the solution we have the cost curve yeah so again we are presented with this sweet spot where the holding cost and the setup cost are the same so again if you go if you move towards the right then excess of holding cost this will not be uh, efficient if you go to the left excess uh, excess of the setup cost again it will not be efficient so this is a sweet spot uh, you can move at least to the right because you cannot uh, produce 692.82 so it can be 700 maybe right so the quantity will move to the right so holding cost would be a little higher but then it balances out in the long run yeah so that's what POQ is all about just uh, go through this and you can create scenarios of your own you can put for example what if the holding cost is not 15 percent what if it's only 12 percent what if the setup cost is not 15,000 what if it's only 12,000 or 9,000 or 5,000 then there will be different scenarios of course but again here uh, we are targeting only for the demand rate of 12,000 because later on uh, if you are running this this uh, production run what if the demand rate increases to 15,000? How many runs are you going to do it? Uh, are going to do? So that's the value of this computation. All right. So thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye.